Okay. <laughs> Daisy's looking out the window, which is why she's in frame with me and looking so intensely out. But hello, everyone. Welcome back to a another video. Uh, we just got back from our 30 week OB appointment. And if you are pregnant, you know that basically every OB appointment in your third trimester is basically pee in a cup, take your blood pressure, weigh you, use the Doppler to listen to the baby's heartbeat. Do you have any questions? Okay, goodbye. That's like the whole appointment. So we're back now, everything went great. Blood pressure was great. I also have another update. So this was, I posted a TikTok about it. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow it because my TikToks are way more up to date than my YouTube videos have been because <laughs> just focusing on Daisy. But my TikTok, which is Tori underscore Lar, I'll leave it on the screen, which, and my Instagram, which is Tori dot L-I-S dot Y-T. If you want like up to date, like updates, on everything going on. I would follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I don't really post too many TikToks, but it is gonna be like the day of or the next day that I post something. I did post a TikTok, so if you don't follow me, go follow me. But yeah, anyway, so I had an appointment on Tuesday. It was a growth scan to see how much she's grown because if you haven't watched any of my other videos, by the way, if you can't tell by what I'm talking, I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant. And if you haven't watched any of my videos before or you didn't see the video I'm talking about, um, go watch it. But basically I explain how I'm considered high risk pregnancy and the baby is growth restricted. When you go to your anatomy scan, at least at my OB, if the baby's measuring below the 20th percentile, then they have you come back in four weeks for a growth scan. And our baby was measuring in the 10th percentile. So they were like, she's not considered high risk or growth restricted right now, but you'll need to come back in four weeks. And if she's still above the 10, you won't have to come back. If she's below the 10, you will have to continue coming back every week to check on her. And to they do like a Doppler test, which if you don't know what that is, it's just them checking like the blood flow from me to the baby and like her blood flow and her heartbeat and all of that. So I had a growth scan and that's when they measured her and they said, okay, she's measuring in the fifth percentile. You will need to start coming back every week to do these Doppler tests and to basically check on her every week. Four weeks from then, they did another check. So that was this past Tuesday. I went in for my 30 week, but it was technically 29 weeks and six days. And they did a growth scan to see how much she's grown. And she's still under the 10th, so she's still growth restricted, which then makes this pregnancy still high risk, but she's no longer in the fifth percentile. She's now in the eighth. So we're trending upwards and I'm praying and we're all hoping and praying that we continue to trend upwards because not only is it nerve wracking to have to go into these appointments every week and I want her to not be growth restricted so that I can not be induced so that I don't have to worry about her as much but also because these appointments are not cheap and I go every week so but anyway we're really happy with that result that she's in the eighth percentile we were just praying that she would be either staying at the fifth or above the fifth. And the fact that she did end up jumping to the eighth was great news. So we're hoping that she'll uh, still be good in three weeks, which I don't know why they're not having us wait another four weeks. They're having us wait three weeks and they're gonna check her growth. And supposedly at this point in pregnancy, the baby is supposed to grow a half a pound every week, which feels like a lot. We'll see how much she weighs in another three weeks. We got that good news Tuesday. Today was just a routine OB appointment with no news, which is always good news. And it's 5 p.m. on Friday. Don't really have any big plans for this weekend. Tonight is just gonna kind of be like a normal night in. Zach's gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna hang out here. And then we have been w watching this new show called Silo on Apple TV because we have a free like trial with them until April. So we've been watching that show and we've liked it so far. Probably just watch that tonight. And then tomorrow, oh, I have a haircut at 9.30 a.m. and it's 40 minutes away. So like that part I'm not as excited about, but Lordy Lord, I need a haircut so bad. And like, I, I don't know if you can tell because I did curl my hair because it was just in such bad shape. I like couldn't leave the house without styling it, but that's tomorrow. And then my mom's coming over because we're doing some baby shower prep. We're doing a practice run on the balloon arch because you will get quoted like 500 800 dollars for a balloon arch but like if you can just do it yourself at home why not do it and i've seen so many people do it themselves at home so we're gonna try to do that but anyway 
that's the plan for tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I will check back in with you guys probably when I'm cooking dinner. We just got back from a walk with Daisy and I literally brought my camera so I could take a clip of it. Daisy, come here. And then I forgot <laughs> to pull out my camera. Cause I'm like really just tired from this week and from this day. And then I'm gonna relax. And then once Zach gets home, we will cook some dinner. Okay. <laughs> It's now 8.22 at night. I'm assuming Zach is gonna be coming home from the gym soon. And I'm getting really hungry now, so I'm gonna start making dinner. So tonight we're making restaurant style Mexican rice and Mexican chicken with cheese sauce. Anyway, I'm gonna start cooking this dinner. I'm just gonna do a little cozy montage of me cooking. What makes me love to make YouTube videos is that I love to watch YouTube videos. So I basically, the types of videos I make, which are like vlogs of just like my day-to-day -day life, um, is what I watch on YouTube. Like anytime I'm like, oh, should I film this, whatever, I'm like, would I watch this? Time to get cooking. I look rough and I had plans of doing my makeup this morning, but as soon as my alarm went off, those plans also left. <laughs> I'm getting my hair cut today. That's why my hair is in this like really just like weird messy bun. I look like a bald man. Oh my gosh, I have to get off camera. But anyway, I'm leaving for my hair appointment. It is 8.35 in the morning. And even though it's not sunny, I am going to wear my sunglasses. And I'm getting there like 15 minutes early, actually like 17 minutes early, and I'm gonna sit and eat a yogurt that I brought with me. But yeah, sometimes parking is a little spotty where my hairdresser is, so I wanted to make sure I got there early. But anyway, let's go finally get my hair done. Okay, this is the hair. Look, I ended up kind of chopping a lot of it. I think she might have taken like six inches off and then I got my curtain bangs back. Look, do you remember how grown out these were? It's like not too short, it's not too long, it's enough change. Can still put in a ponytail and a bun and everything. Whew, I started feeling like really like tired and like dehydrated in the chair, so I'm gonna go home and eat something even though I have a 40 minute drive to get home. Don't these sunglasses just look so much better with my hair down? I had all these plans to for today to like do my makeup after I got back and like film like my second trimester video, but it's so gloomy <laughs> and rainy out. And my mom is gonna be here probably in the next like 30 or so minutes to do baby shower stuff. So I just don't feel like it. I'm just so tired. Good morning. I really thought I was gonna film more yesterday, but I was so tired. And when we were doing things for the baby shower with my mom, I just was so tired and like focused. I didn't film. So I filmed like a little bit of what it ended up looking like. 
our practice run with the balloon arch. Um, it is the next morning. It is Sunday. Zach is going to be painting the baby's room. My stepdad's going to be doing some stuff for our kitchen, which is a separate, completely separate video. So if you want to see what happens with that, subscribe because that video hopefully will be coming soon. At least part two is coming soon. We went to Duncan. Zach got himself an iced coffee and I got a donut for later because it's like get a coffee, get a donut for a dollar. We we're at a bagel shop and Zach just picked up our bagels. And as I can see, yes. is our, are our actual beagles yeah. there too? Yeah, I didn't have to pay for anything. What? Because he was like, how are you? I was like, oh, things has been crazy. He's like, he's like, yeah, I've been busy over here. He's like, what's up with you? So I, I literally was just like, oh, I got laid off, right? And he's like, oh, dude, I'm sorry to, sorry to hear that. He's like, you know, he's like, don't worry about paying this. He's like, if you need a job, like, hey, man, I might be hitting you up. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Yeah. Um, wow, so free free breakfast. We got our bagel. You got the same thing as me? Yeah. Bagels with cream cheese and bacon. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, and every time we come in, he gives us a bunch of free bagels as well. He's so nice. And well, this whole thing apparently was free. So that's yeah. really nice. But anyway, we're going to go home. We're going to eat and then get started on the day. I have been such a bad, oh, it's gonna be dark in here, hold on. I have been such a bad vlogger today. I just, sorry, Zach's like blasting music. Um, I really like, I knew that we were gonna be doing a lot of home improvement stuff and that we would have like my stepdad over and like not really be able to like vlog anything. <laughs> so um, I didn't really vlog anything. We got back, we ate our bagels, which were so good. Um, and I just kind of like hung out and like I've been doing laundry. I'm still doing laundry, which um, I will talk about when I get back from this walk. But now I'm going on a walk. Where's Daisy? With Daisy. It's today's the first day of daylight savings. And it's like actually nice out. My hair is all windblown. Anyway, we're now down in my basement. I'm downstairs at my dryer, actually, my washer dryer right now, actually. And what is happening is our dryer, like, works not super well, but it works. Our washer doesn't spin and the agitator doesn't move. Like, you know how, like, the drum is going to spin and the agitator goes? It doesn't do any of that. And so what I found out is it's filling with water with the detergent. And then it's just kind of like sitting like that for the whole cycle, even though it's not doing anything, it's just sitting like that. And then it drains, like it doesn't vibrate at all. I, in my last video said that it vibrated, which so I was like, okay, the clothes are getting moved around a little bit. No, I opened the lid, nothing happens, it's still. So the top, the, the top layer of clothes that's not like filled with water aren't getting clean. And I mean, none of it is, it's just getting like detergent soaked and then draining. So we were gonna wait a little bit and it sucks because two weeks ago was President's Day and this would have been like a great time to do it, but we might be buying a washer and dryer potentially this week. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for that. I'm doing wash, cause I, I'm trying my best. I'm just like running the cycle twice and then it has to go in twice in the dryer, but. To be so honest with you, it is now 1 a.m. <laughs> Fell asleep on the couch. And so that's the end of this weekend. <laughs> this week is my birthday. I don't think we're doing anything like special for my birthday, but maybe I'll vlog, who knows. I hope you enjoyed this hectic and weird weekend in my life. And hopefully you'll come back for the next one.